Would you like to rewild your palate? Would you like to reclaim your taste buds and take back your health from big food and big agriculture? If yes is your answer, stick around and we'll talk about how modern food is hijacking our palates and our health and what we can do about it. Hi guys, I'm John Zombro with the Lifetime Body and I hope you're having an utterly phenomenal day. As humans, we've been on the earth for over 2.5 million years, and for most of that time, we've dined on fresh, whole, natural, real, wild food. Over the last 10 to 12,000 years, we've seen the advent of agriculture, and over the past two centuries, that's progressed towards high volumes of highly processed, hyperpalatable, but nutrient-poor foods that we've grown accustomed and even addicted to. Grains have become a staple in diets around the world, but that is not without issue. In addition to being linked to leaky gut syndrome, celiac disease, and gluten sensitivity, as well as a variety of autoimmune disorders, grains have been shown to impair nutrient absorption, spike blood sugar, and create opioid-like dependency. Our palates, dietary guidelines, and our minds have come to expect ample servings of bread, cereal, rice, and pasta, and the like at every meal. Sugar is big business, and for good reason. We buy and consume a lot of it. In fact, each citizen eating the standard American diet will consume a wheelbarrow full of sugar every year. Our metabolisms are set up to handle a little sugar here and there, and that's actually no problem. But these high constant volumes lead to inflammation, obesity, and disease, and our sugar-rich diet doesn't give us much of a chance at moderation. Over time, and because sugar's in almost everything, we've developed an unnatural expectation that almost everything we eat should be sweet. Industrial seed oils, or the so-called vegetable oils, which include canola, corn, cotton seeds, soy, safflower, and sunflower oils, are the main ingredients in processed and fast food. And they also uh, cause us to be inflamed and disease-ridden. And they add that creamy texture to foods for what industry labs call a pleasant mouthfeel. Vegetables and fruits are bred, engineered, and hybridized to be sweeter, softer, larger, and brighter than their ancestral cousins, and we're encouraged to eat them at every opportunity. This is entirely inconsistent with our evolutionary history, when such foods were not constantly available, even in equatorial climates. And animal products, specifically the meat, fish, and poultry that is farm-raised, in captivity, and fed a diet high in grains, which is not any animal's natural food source, isn't not, it's not only not healthy for us, uh, not as healthy for us as meat from wild or free-ranging animals, it's also typically soft, fatty, and not as flavorful. We've come to expect meat to be something that doesn't taste gamey or requires little chewing, but this isn't the way it always was. All these things have led us to have developed a palate that expects the sweet but not complex flavors and textures of industrial foods, and we've lost the sensitivity to appreciate the truly real, whole, fresh, natural, wild foods. My suggestion is a simple one. We can all benefit from trying to phase out processed foods from our diets as much as possible and emphasize high quality foods that more closely resemble the diet our genes evolved with. Thanks as always for watching and feel free to leave me a comment or a question below. Also, if you enjoy this content, subscribe and share. I really appreciate your help in getting the message of ultimate wellness out there. Until next time, this is Coach Jay-Z signing off from the Lifetime Body, where science meets common sense and where you can make your body last a lifetime.